from the floor of the CME Group. This is Danny Riley on today's Cash Close. Now shut up, chefs. The name of this video, Buy Stops and the S&P 21 Even. The high of the day in the S&P came in at 2107.80 late in the day. The low came in at 2082.5 half mid-morning or early. And last were 2106.80 were up 11.5 handles. Total volume, 1.65 million minis trade and 5.5 thousand big S&Ps trade in the pit. The MIM was showing by 328 million and the actual MOC came out by 700 million. I said it would be bigger. Next week we have a total of 22 economic releases. We have 11 T-bill or T-bond auctions or announcements. We have four Fed Bank presidents speaking. We have Janet Yellen speaking from the annual, semi-annual monetary policy testimony in front of the House Financial Committee in Washington. Now, Monday, we have the Chicago Fed National Activity Index. We have the PMI Services Flash. We have the existing home sales and the Dallas Fed Management Survey. Now, look, the VIX got down toward 14 bucks today. I, I still think it's got, it's got room to go lower. I think one of the guys in the room, Roger Sawyer, thank you, Roger, said that it got down to 14.27. The S&P, after we started the video, popped back up to 21.08 half. Now, you know, they had this little early push down to like the 83 level in the S&P, and then the S&P started a short cover. And actually, and I put it out in the room, I bought 80, 20, 84s, and the S&P started to short cover a little bit. But the majority of that trade was not even captured until after that news came out that the, that the Greeks were trying to come to some agreement with the, with the EU about their debt in, in their debt negotiations. And as, as always, what happened throughout the week is when we had all these pop-ups to, you know, 2098, 2098 half, 29 to 90 even, you know, and that's what I kept talking about. Is the bus too full? Is everybody expecting the S&P to go through at the same time? And I think whenever that happens, it just doesn't work like that. I think I've got a saying that the S&P never does what everybody wants it to do when they want it to do it. But what happened today was the news algos did the heavy lifting. And then late in the day, the mutual funds came in and bought $700 million. So my question to you traders would be, do you think they knew they had those big buys MOC? You really, did you, did you not see how right around 2 o'clock the S&P started going back up? But anyways, 2 o'clock central time. But anyways, look at I pointed out where those buy stops were, 2099.70 up to 2106. You know, they did go a little bit further, but the initial push, I think, got up to 05 half. So we were right on with that call. And then we came back in the, in the room and on the ice chat and said that we thought we could pull back a little, and we did, and then we went back up. But nothing really big. Volume did increase a little bit here today. I think, you know, we've been averaging about 1.1 million during the week, and I think we'll end up with one, you know, close to 1.7 million, I think, uh, will, will be the final total. But uh, and last but not least, I'm sorry to take a little bit more time on these videos, but last but not least, I'm going to be working my ass off over the weekend to get this stuff into a format that we can get the pit bull on and we can get the guys from Market Delta and we can get the guys from Live Squawk and obviously our own Marlon Cobb to come in and start talking about the MIM and all the stuff that we're going to be doing. And you know what, look at it, at the end of the day, people ask me why I do this for free. And I got to ask myself that sometimes. But at the end of the day, I think at this, during this webinar, you'll have a good feeling for why I do what I do. That said, we're going to leave it like that, you guys. We'll see you on the opening print on Monday, and if not, on Twitter tomorrow. <clears throat>